Hey guys, Sam here from Musical.ly Yours and Digital DJ Gear, and I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna be doing a little unboxing today. Today, I am pleased to unveil the Pioneer DDJ Rev 7. This has been like one of the most talked about things for the last few months, and they are pretty much impossible to get today because we ordered, I think, 24 of them, and they shipped us now a total of three. I'm fortunate enough that we have this one here today, and we're gonna give you a little quick walkthrough um, and see what's going on here. This piece is the first Pioneer DJ piece to ever have moving platters. Denon was known for moving platters. They had the DNS 3500s and the 5000s in the old days. And then of course now in the controller land, they have the Rain 1, which is an awesome piece. This is the first time Pioneer has ventured into this land, and I'm super excited to see what's going on with this piece. All right. So, as expected, the thing is a little bit heavy, which means it's probably built like a tank, like most of the other Pioneer controllers. Yeah. Open it up. Got my manual. Got my power supply, which is just like the old CDJ style, like the little figure eight. Cool. Uh, extension here for the power supply back into the unit. Cool. USB cable. I think it's just regular A to B. Yep. Cool. And I'm gonna flip this up and slide it out gently because we're still gonna have to sell this unit, guys, because there's so few, I can't keep one. I begged Eddie, can I please just keep the first one? And he's like, Sam, there's like a waiting list of like 30 customers waiting to get the thing. We, we, can't, we can't keep one. I'm sorry, I can't put it on the floor. Okay, what am I gonna do? Well, that, my friends, is freaking beautiful. And I can honestly say the thing really does feel like a tank. Just in first look here, the layout reminds me a lot of the DJM S-Series um, mixers, you know, S7, S9, S11. It's got that two-channel battle format. It's got the Magvel Fader here Pro. Nice feel. Knobs, faders all feel. It's got good resistance in the pads. They're not like flimsy. Knobs feel just like all the other Pioneer units. What's cool here, most Pioneer controllers have their um, pitch adjust on the sides. This is, I think, the first time I've seen it on the top here. I might be wrong about that. Maybe I'm missing forgetting a controller, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, it's got separate track pieces here, so you can search you know, for deck A or deck B separately. Instant scratch feature, hot cues, sc scratch banks, you can do stuff there and save some of your scratches, looping in and out, slip, sensor, and obviously this, the platter feels really good. It's, it's kind of like a hybrid between a CDJ platter and, a, and like an actual turntable platter, and I kind of really like the feel, actually, but this, this almost feels like vinyl on the piece here. I know that those are um, touchscreen um, pieces in the middle here that will have give you a working display of what's going on in the touch sensitivity of the piece. Hot cue, roll, save loop, sampler. It's great. Talking real quick. Oh, that was, gotta be careful there. Talking real quick about the ins and outs. Master outs, it's got two sets on the back here. It's got XLR master outs. It's also got RCA master outs, and then it's got booth balanced outs in quarter inch. So hook up your studio monitors, master out to your speakers, and you can do another master out to your recording interface if you wanted to record your set. Two USBs, so if you've got two laptops or two different DJs you're gonna be playing, if you're gonna use it in the club, you can have them coming in back to back, um, one on one deck and one on the other for that transition. You've got uh, line slash phono switchable inputs and grounder here, so if you wanna hook up actual turntables, you wanna hook up your PLX 1000s, or maybe you're still using old Tech 1200s, you can do that and put it into phono, get your grounding loop here, or if you wanna hook up additional CDJs, if somebody's got a rider and you just wanna use the mixer and wanna get like two CDJ 3000s or 2000 Nexus 2s, we can add that in here. Microphone, we've got a quarter inch balanced mic in and an XLR balanced mic in. They do have separate gain controls here. Um, so that's good. You can have two mics hooked up, regular power button, everything else pretty much as expected. I'm pretty excited to get to play with this. 
Um, one more thing here in the front. This is also pretty cool. Um, the mic has mic one and mic two independent levels here for each of the mics on the front as well, which makes it a little bit easier to use. It's got the usual um, on off and the talk over feature, which will you know, bring it out in front of your music, whatever's playing. It's got an echo effect for your mic and it's got a two band low and high EQ. Keep in mind, it looks like the EQ and the echo will apply to both mics simultaneously because they don't have separate controls. So just something to be aware of, but I don't think that's a problem at all. Reverse um, for the curve. Um, can adjust the feel of the crossfader. A little tighter, a little looser, adjust the curve here. Reverse as well. And you have an auxiliary input and you can switch it between line and portable and you can control the level there. It takes both eighth inch and quarter inch headphones. So, you know, for unboxing and just giving you guys a very quick overview of what it looks like out of the box, I think that's all I've got time for this morning but I'm pretty excited to talk about this and we're gonna be comparing it with the Rain 1 later today and seeing what we really think and how the two units perform. Thanks guys, Sam from Digital DJ Gear and Musical.ly Yours. Check us out at digitaldjgear.com or in Hackensack at our store, Musical.ly Yours. We hope you enjoyed this video from Digital DJ Gear and Musical.ly Yours. Be sure to leave a comment below if this video helped you and check out these other videos we think you'll like. To learn more about all of our pro audio, lighting, DJ, and recording equipment, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel now. Until next time, I'm Sam from DigitalDJGear.com and Musical.ly Yours. Thanks for watching.